What's up fellow travelers? Hope all is well and welcome to a brand new travel episode. This week we're hitting the road and we're heading to Abitibi Timiskaming region of Quebec which is situated northwest of the Udawe and about a six and a half hour drive from Gatineau. There we're going to be visiting two amazing national parks as well as an animal refuge, checking out some amazing waterfalls. Honestly I'm stoked because I've been wanting to visit this region for such a long time and compared to other regions like Charlevoix and Gaspésie it is way less crowded so you can really enjoy the peace and tranquility of locations like this. One of our first stops on the way to Abitibi Timiskaming is here at the Chute du Lac Roland which is situated in La Réserve Phonique La Vérandrie on Highway 117. It is a perfect stop because the waterfall here is really beautiful. So let's check it out and after that we're gonna head back the road and head to Melartic where you have a massive open sky mine. <laughs> After six and a half hours of driving, we arrive here in Agaben National Park. I mean, what a beautiful drive it's been with the amazing little waterfall and also checking out the mines near Val d'Or in Malartic. I mean, these mines are absolutely huge. It's insane. I mean, the Uda region, we don't have mines like that. So when we leave the Uda region, go to places like Cotonou or Abitibi, we're blown away by the size of these amazing holes. It's just, it's crazy. These gigantic holes are located like a street away from a big town. Uh, I can't believe it. Once I arrived here at the park, I set up my tent, had a quick bite to eat, and you guys know me, I'm already on the trails. We're gonna be doing La Castoria tonight, which is a short one kilometer trail that goes around a little creek, and it is a perfect ecosystem to spot a bunch of creatures, notably beavers. After that, we're gonna head back to camp for a little fire because today's gonna be really relaxed because tomorrow we have a jam-packed day with tons of amazing gems of this place. Good second day everyone here in the Agaben National Park and last night was so cold. I mean, I froze last night. I'm gonna have to prepare better tonight for a good night's sleep. But today we're gonna be doing tons of hiking trails because tomorrow the next day they're announcing lots of rain. So we're gonna start our day off by doing a trail called L'Aventurier, which is probably the best trail you can do in the National Park. It is a 10 kilometer loop that is considered difficult, but to be honest, only 100 meters of elevation gain. I don't know why it's considered difficult, but we'll check that out. It offers a suspended bridge as well as some amazing lookouts over a gorge. It should be really beautiful. So let's get geared up, let's hit the trail, and as always, let's keep our curiosity up to the point and let's explore this amazing place. We're about three hours in the trail and honestly, it is absolutely breathtaking. Essentially the entirety of the time, you're walking around these cliff edges and you get these viewpoints like the one right behind me where you just stare on to Lac La Haye, 
which is absolutely beautiful. And the weather today is just perfect for a hike. Now we're gonna head back to the car. On the way, we're gonna see the suspended bridge, which is the number one attraction of the park and which makes this park so darn unique. Well, after having an amazing time this morning on L'Aventurier Trail, which was definitely difficult. Now, they only say 100 meters of elevation gain, but trust me, it's around 700 to 800. It's pretty tough. It took us six hours to do, but it was totally awesome. The views of the bridge, of the canyon, great time. I went back to the camping spot, prepped it for tomorrow because tomorrow nothing rain, and now I'm on the Guard Tower Trail, which is a two kilometer round trip trail. It should take around an hour to do, and should offer some fantastic views. So let's jump on this trail and let's check out that fire tower. Well, this is exactly why you come to the Agaben National Park. I mean, after 30 minutes of hiking, you have these absolutely fantastic views of the region. There's no one here. I'm completely alone at the tower and on the trail, and it's just so peaceful and quiet right now. It's so enjoyable. And this would be a perfect location to watch a sunset. I mean, I honestly feel like waiting another three hours till that happens. Well, I'm looking at the tower right now, and I'm wondering if I should climb it. Ah, let's climb it. <laughs> Ooh, I have a fear of heights. This is not gonna be fun, but let's do it anyways. Whew. I am not a fan of heights and I do not like ladders. So combine the two and that's how I feel right now. But I mean, Look at these views, they're just absolutely incredible on top of the fire tower. And it's really cool because there's tons of historical facts and information panels everywhere. So you can really learn about the history of this actually used fire tower. Wow, what an unbelievable day. Okay, now I gotta get courage to go back down. Welcome to day three of our trip in Abitibi to Miskamang region. This morning I woke up with absolute downpour. I mean, it was raining at least 10 millimeters of rain. My entire camp was wet except for my tent because I prepped it last night and my tent stayed dry, but I packed everything up and decided to just hit the road and check out a few towns nearby. I started off by checking out the town of Amos, Quebec, which is about 40 minutes drive from the National Park. And there, not only you have an absolute beautiful cathedral in the downtown core, but you also have the Refuge Parrain, which is amazing. Now, I'm not usually a big fan of zoos because I don't really believe in that. What's great about the Refuge Parrain is they rehabilitate animals and take care of them, and most of them are released over time. Some must stay because either they've been in contact with humans for too long or they've had their wings removed for birds and stuff like that for different reasons. But honestly, it's a great little location to check out. It's very informative. You'll learn so much information. And there's a beautiful boardwalk that allows you to relax, connect with the animals, and just enjoy your time there. It costs about $20 for adults and there's different prices for different group ages. But honestly, a great stop if you're in the region. Now I'm in Vadal, which is 40 minutes from Amos. And here you have the observation tower. And on top, you have fantastic 360 degree views of Vadal. Now Vadal is very similar to many towns in the region. It's rich in the mining industry and the forest industry. And here on normal non-pandemic times, you can actually go check out the city of Vadal, which allows you to go down in the mines and check out what a mine actually looks like, a gold mine. Now, unfortunately, they're fully booked for the summer. It's insane because the pandemic, everybody's trying to find something to do. But in normal times, that would be definitely a destination you'd have to stop if you ever came to Abitibi Miskanaim. Also in Vadal, you have the microbrewery and also a few other interior activities like the art exhibition we're gonna go check out right now but honestly it's a perfect stop when you're in the region so let's get down the tower let's go check out the art exhibition and possibly go get a beer at the microbrewery
Good day guys and welcome to day four here in our trip in Abitibi Timiskaming. Today we're heading to a brand new national park and that is the Opimika National Park which is literally situated on the border of Ontario and Quebec. Now this national park is the newest of all national parks in Quebec that are run and owned by La CEPAC and is known for having absolute amazing canoe camping reserve and locations. Now unfortunately we're not going to do canoe camping this time. We are going to check out some fantastic waterfalls, go paddle boarding and also go hiking because there's some great hiking trails to do there. This morning I started off in the town of Huayno Rondo where I checked out the art museum because the weather was not cooperating this morning. But as you can tell right now, it is sunshine and blue skies. So let's drive up to the Opikimika National Park, which is about a three and a half hour drive from the Agaba National Park. We still got about two hours of driving to do, but honestly, it's fantastic. I am currently listening to the Office Ladies podcast. And if you're a fan of the office like I am, I love that podcast. Honestly, I can listen for hours and hours and hours. Okay, enough chit chatting. Let's head to the Opimika National Park. On tonight's menu, we're gonna be doing a two kilometer loop called the Pierce Trail, which actually starts from the campground and allows us to familiarize ourselves with the environment, get a great little point of view, and just take it easy for the first day here in the park. One, two, three, four. I am not a raincoat here to keep you warm Then go back in the closet after the storm I'm not a match simply waiting to burn All I am is a friend, your friend to the end Now that I reached the top I can see there's a storm brewing so I think I'm gonna head back to camp and I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, today honestly has been absolutely fantastic um, yes, I drove all day, but you know what? The drive here in Abitibi to Miskaming is just so great. I love driving through these small little towns and it's like a different lifestyle. I mean, just to give you an example, today I pulled up to a gas station that still offered service, which that no longer exists in Gatineau. And, uh, and it's crazy to think that right now there's a labor shortage in Abitibi and yet they still offer service at gas stations. I love it. I mean, and I, I was so confused what to do. I mean, I pulled up and he's there and I'm like, okay, what do I do? Do I stay in the car? Do I get out? Do I do it myself? I had no idea. So I just got out of the car and stared at him because I just, I felt so awkward. Somebody else pumping my gas. But uh, yeah, honestly, today was fantastic. I'm glad the sun came out and tomorrow, they're announcing a beautiful day and I have tons of great trails planned out. We're gonna go check out an amazing waterfall. We're gonna do a multiple trails and possibly go paddleboard in Les Ides de Ouvray. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Good morning everyone and welcome to our last full day here in the Abitibi Timiskaming region as well as our first full day here in the Opemikan National Park. Today we have a jam-packed day. We're first going to start off by checking out La Grande Chute, otherwise known as the Tall Waterfall, which just by its name I'm already excited. After that we're going to do two amazing hikes that offer fantastic views of the area and hopefully we're going to finish our day off by paddleboarding around the Zillow Fries, which is one of the best places to go paddleboarding in the area. Honestly, today should be pretty exciting. So let's go check out those waterfalls and after a few days of rain, it should be pretty exciting. I think this waterfall deserves its name. I mean, tall waterfall makes total sense. It's huge and so intense. What a great first stop to our day. Now we're gonna head to our second stop, which is the Parwa au Foucault Trail. It's a short trail, but should offer still some amazing views of the Ottawa River and of the surrounding area. So let's head over there. What 
an incredible viewpoint. Considering this trail literally took me like 20 minutes to do, that is unbelievable. And what's cool is actually right there is the province of Ontario, that's the Ottawa River. So you're literally seeing your neighbor right across the river. You can actually book rustic campsites on the mountain right here, which have no service, but I mean, can you imagine sleeping with these kind of views? I know I can. All right, let's head to our final trail of the trip, and that is the Nookshuk Trail, which is a two kilometer loop, actually around 30 minutes to complete. So let's head over there. Unfortunately, today is a little bit too windy to go paddle boarding, but I'm a strong believer that sometimes good things are just obstacles in disguise. You know, I'm situated right now on this beautiful beach, completely alone, and I have this amazing view of the Ottawa River. It's just so quiet today. It's so beautiful. What a great day. So I'm gonna go for a swim, sit on the beach, read a book, and I'm gonna go make some dinner after that, have a little campfire, and enjoy my remaining moments here in the park. And I'd be sweet to just get back. After six days of awesome adventures, two national parks, tons of waterfalls, we arrived at our final stop of our road trip here in the town of Timiskaming, Quebec at the Gordon Falls. Now these falls to me are very representative of my trip. I mean, not only are they underrated and you don't find much information on them, but they are so impressive. And this region honestly has been absolutely breathtaking. It really, truly is an outdoor adventures paradise. Both national parks met exactly my expectations. What great places to go hike in and just camp and just connect from the city. Honestly, I've had an absolute blast here. Well, if you enjoyed today's episode and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button down below for more travel tips, tricks, and vlogs on a weekly basis, as well as follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I post almost every single day and keep you updated on some of my travel adventures. With that, guys, I will see you soon for a brand new travel episode while we continue to explore the amazing Uda region of Quebec. As always, don't forget, guys, safe travels. Music